Good morning. I am so tired, bro. <laughs> so, what are we doing? We're gonna go to Dallas. We're gonna run some stairs. Maybe. I didn't drink enough water for this, for cardio. I thought it was more of a lifting or something. Oh, no, no, no. We're, dead. We're having no weights. Oh my god. Yeah. Good morning, y'all. Mm. It is set currently 7.03. And me and Reagan are gonna do like a partner workout this morning. We go to Dallas and do something outside. Switch it up Monday morning so we're gonna get like a good workout in to start the week. Noah, it is so humid this morning. But yeah, okay, let's get it. We just finished our workout and uh, that kind of sucked. Oh, it's almost nine. Yeah, we did take a while. <laughs> That's okay, it was still fun though. Okay, now I think we're gonna go get a smoothie or some breakfast or something. Yay! Oh, look at my stomach, it literally goes. It made like the squish sound when I took it off. <laughs> Are you that sweaty? No, no, no. So we're heading to La La Land our favorite coffee place. I took Reagan there once. Uh, Brooke actually showed me this place and then I showed it to Reagan. We love it. We love it. We gotta get a coffee and I'll probably go home, make some breakfast. Should we grab something? Whatever. I have, yeah, I have no groceries, like literally That's zero fine. groceries. Yeah, also, I forgot my tripod and I'm holding this and it's kind of heavy. <laughs> I'm gonna be Shoulder real. Workout. I'm just really tired. Woke up very early. So early. That's the earliest I've woke up in a while. But you know what? I did like it after we got yeah, up because it's good. only nine and we're done with our workout and that's awesome. Normally I would like just be starting my workout. So and having a friend here makes it so much better. I'm just gonna say it. When we live down here, we're gonna work out every single day together. Except Reagan's gonna be in PT school. She's gonna have to get up at the butt crack of dawn, and Wake I don't wanna do day. that. <laughs> Can I just get the smaller size of the cold brew with um, almond milk and vanilla, please? Okay. It is what it is. We just got our coffees from La La Land, the best ever. And then we um, popped into Trader Joe's. I just got some stuff for lunch. I got this new flavor of, well, I guess it's not a new flavor, but I've never tried it, of the Go Macro Bar. I got like, it's coconut almond butter and chocolate chips. And then I got this lemon chicken and arugula salad. And it looks really good. Has like some quinoa and like I think lentils and stuff over there. So I'm gonna have that for lunch probably in a little bit. Oh, and I got a green juice. Um, Cause health. <laughs> yeah, I got a watermelon juice. And then what I get the Southwest chicken salad? Yeah, Southwest chicken salad. Now we found this cool apartment complex 
and we're gonna go check it out. It has like this really cool gym. I think they're like renovating it, so like half of it's renovated and half of it's not. We're gonna go drive by it, maybe possibly see if we can take a tour. I don't know if they do walk-ins right now and everything. Just um, FYI, we're going everywhere with masks and we have our spray hand sanitizer that we're taking with us everywhere, so wear your masks, people. That's all we gotta say. You never actually say anything in the background. Just Reagan just makes weird faces and goes, I don't like how my voice sounds. I don't want to speak. I'm like, <laughs> so I just, just agree with me or something. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we gotta go. Okay, we just ran into Target to kind of waste some time. Um, because we had like 45 minutes before our appointment was booked. And we literally bought way too much stuff each. Like, way too much stuff. Right. But my favorite, favorite, favorite shorts I've ever bought from Target. They're like perfect for girls with bigger thighs. I'm serious, they're like amazing. They have them in this really cute like lilac color. I'll show you guys once I get home like everything that I bought, but yeah, just a little update. Now we're gonna go back and hopefully tour this place. We can just literally inhale that salad. Inhaled, like swear it took her like two minutes and really 30 dumb. seconds. Oh, that was good. What do you think? We love it. We love it. We literally love it. We want to move here right now. So that's why I can't show you the inside. Just, you know, you know, for the creepies. But I'm so excited. Literally, we have to, to pray that one opens up for when we want to move in. Oh, it's so cool though. I can't, I can't wait to like decorate it and be all cute in our new apartment. Mm. Yeah, but anyways, I, I, I'm so excited. Give me, give me some words, Reagan. I'm so excited. Yeah. That's all. Okay, I'm eating this, and verdict, it is so good. The dressing is so good, except for when you spill it on your pants, and Reagan doesn't have any napkins in her car. Who doesn't have napkins I in their car? I never spill. <laughs> you literally <laughs> see it on your pants. <laughs> it's so good, I highly recommend this salad. It is amazing. Okay, bye lady. Bye, drive safe. Bye. Love you. Cheers. Cheers. Love you too. Okay, I just got home and changed out of my sweaty stuff. I'm still pretty sweaty, but like sticky, you know, like after you work out and you're kind of like sticky. That's how I feel right now, but I just had to get out of like my wet clothes. I just feel like I've been running around all day. Honestly, the past like two or three weeks, I feel like I've just been nonstop, like go, 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 go. When it comes to like working, running errands, working out, all of the above, I just feel like very, I don't know, very overwhelmed. Cause me and Bronte would be going back and forth and back and forth to the ranch in here and like trying to work on like both projects, like constantly doing something, like working, whether it's like actual working or it's like construction working. Like I feel like we've just been like so run down lately. Y'all know like my goals for fitness right now and I'm trying to like eat like a lower carb diet, but I feel like sometimes, especially on days like this when I'm just like go, 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 I have holes in my diet a little bit. When Ritual reached out to me, I was actually really excited because I had seen their stuff advertised to me on Instagram and I was like you know what I don't take any vitamins like I literally don't take any vitamins and I like preach about wanting to be healthy from the inside out I should 100% take vitamins but I don't even know where to start and I literally hate taking pills like I am so bad at taking pills and I love ritual because it's specifically designed for women and mainly rituals help me like with peace of mind because I know that I'm getting like all the vitamins and nutrients that I need that I might not be getting from my diet and the best part about it is it's delivered to your door and it's like a subscription service so anytime you run out they'll automatically send you another one honestly like I've never been a big vitamin person but Bronson Bronson takes like I'm not kidding you like six vitamins a day and he'll just be like Bleh. I'm like dude how do you how do you swallow six pills at one time like i literally could never and for these you only have to take two and that's everything you need in a day so i love that i've been loving them and they actually the pills actually have i have the mint flavor i don't know if you can see that but I have the mint flavor, so it actually doesn't taste disgusting when you swallow the pill. If you want to get 10% off of your first three month subscription, you can use uh, the code Kylie10 and you get a little bit of a discount. Yeah, this is like honestly something that I've become like really passionate about just because you guys know I'm trying to change like everything in my life to healthy like eventually. And this for me is like a great way to start. Now I want to show you guys what I got from Target. I actually got this little jumper sweater thing. Dude, the softest, thinnest material, but I got an extra, extra large, duh, because I 
only wear oversized stuff. This slit up the side. If you watch my like athleisure wear vlog, you'll know that I have like a favorite, favorite pair of running shorts from Target and they are ideal for like big thigh girls. Let me just tell you, okay? Cause I am big mama and big mama knows, okay? I found them again because they were all out of stock for like a really long time. I wear a medium in these and they have a drawstring waist. So if you have like big thighs and a smaller waist, you can tie them up, but I found them again. And they're in the prettiest color. It's literally like this soft lilac purple color. Let me show you. Look at them. Look at these shorts. Dude, they're so cute. And they're just like, they have the liner underneath and they have like this kind of slit up the side. They're so cute. I love them. And guess what people? They're only $20, okay? $20. I'll link them down below. They're by Joy Lab from Target. Okay, but let me show you the other pair that I got. You guys know me. When I find shorts that I love, I literally buy every color. Okay, so these ones are a little bit different. They have more of a slit of the side and they don't have the drawstring, which, yeah, I can live without, but I would prefer it. So that's like kind of one downside to these, but they're only $20 too. So, and these are such a cute color. Like, but they have this more drastic slit, which I really like. And they have this like thick waistband. They're really cute. I'll get closer. I'll get closer so you guys can see. <gasps> oh, are you kidding me? I, if I had that in the entire time. Something, I said this in a vlog before, something about the shape of my teeth makes me like extra prone to getting stuff caught in it. Like, you guys aren't gonna believe me, but I'm serious. I could eat, I could eat soup. Soup, okay, and somehow have something stuck in my teeth. You can ask Bronson. He makes fun of me for it all the time Just a little fun fact. No big deal. <laughs> okay, it is a little bit later and I have decided that I want to make some lemon bar Protein balls lemon bars are like one of my favorite desserts ever I love like anything lemon flavored, but I was like, you know what? Let's try and make it a little bit healthy and add in some protein so that way throughout the week I can have like these little protein balls that satisfy my sweet tooth at the same time. Did you see that? <laughs> Here's what you're gonna need. I'm adding chia seeds for added fiber and then almonds and cashews and we're gonna ground those up three dates in here that i'm gonna use to sweeten them with this is my vanilla iconic protein powder that i'm gonna put in this is for the topping that i'm gonna try and make like a little lemon flavored icing and then i'm using the juice of two lemons that's pretty much it First, we're gonna add half a cup of cashews and half a cup of almonds. Also, I got these cutie little measuring cups because you guys always make fun of me for not measuring, so I was like, ha ha ha. Okay, I'm not gonna measure this because it's too much work, but I'm gonna add two whole lemons of lemon juice in it. I don't know if I said that right, it's kind of confusing. But I'm adding two whole lemons, all of the juice from them. Does that make sense? Yes, because I'm not gonna squeeze them in a little thing and then go in there. I'm just gonna do it, okay? Perfect. This is one cup of pitted dates, so I'm assuming that's equal to four dates. I don't really know. I swear I told myself I was gonna be better at measure, but dude, how do you make a cup of these? Like, if they're like things, they're not powder. You know what I mean? I don't even know how to pit them. Yes, I do. Okay, so one, two, maybe I should just do three. Yeah, we'll do three for now. We'll add the last one if it's not sweet enough. I guess we'll figure it out. It's like little bugs in there. <laughs> I'm a child. This is a Kylie special, I guess. I'm gonna add a little bit of almond milk just to kind of... Okay, also I almost forgot the protein, literally the most important part. I'm just gonna do one and a half scoopfuls of the protein. So it comes like a little scooper. I'm just gonna do like one and a half of those. Okay. 
Ooh. That is very lemony. Ooh. Let's check it out. Dang it. I made it too watery now. I literally just said it was a perfect consistency. Why would I go and ruin it? Oh, that's right, because I need. That's why. I'm literally the worst cooker in the world. I know it's not called a cooker, I'm just frustrated. Wait a second. That's really good. <laughs> How do we thicken it up? Come on, brainstorm with me, people. So I could add more nuts. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna add more nuts. Dude, I'm excited. These are good. Oh my, it looks like I'm in the thing. Oh wait, yeah, it looks like I'm, ooh. Lemon bars. <laughs> oh, I'm so stupid. Okay, it's definitely getting there. I'm just gonna use it all. Okay, that's a little bit better. Still not great. Hopefully when I freeze them, it'll all turn out good. Next, I'm just going to add a generous amount of chia seeds. I'm gonna let it chill, yes, in the fridge for a little bit and harden up. And then it'll be easier to make into balls. And then we are going to chill those even more. Put them in the freezer, maybe. Or we'll make the little yummy yummy on top. Okay, so basically what I'm gonna try and do now is make an icing out of the protein powder. So let's see what we can come up with. Okay, so I only had it in the freezer for like five minutes and it already is really, really thick, so. I really like the consistency. Now we're gonna make it into balls. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, my ball shapes that I made, not my best. They kind of came up like little dollops. Uh, but let me tell you, they taste so good. I still have like half the batter left, so it kind of makes a lot of these, but I'm gonna let the rest of that sit in the freezer and kind of like harden a little bit more before I do the rest. And I'll put these in and then we'll see how they go. Okay, catch you on the flip side. So they're out of the freezer. They had to be in there for like probably two hours because they were pretty watery. And they kind of turned out like little drops, not protein balls, but I'm gonna do the official taste test. That's pretty good. Yeah, I like these. Do you like lemon bars? Uh, uh, yeah, no, yeah, not bad. That's pretty good. Okay, that's a that's pretty bar? good reaction coming from him. It's a protein ball, mm. kind of. Yeah, not like a bad little at all. smush, protein smush. Well, DM me on Instagram if you end up trying these because I want to know how yours turned out because they might turn out better than mine. Well, that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this vlog and I hope you try the little uh, lemon bar protein drop ball things. And I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy out there. I love y'all. Thanks for watching.